hey y'all welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be doing a tutorial using the goo goo clip-in hair extensions and my customer she ordered them off of amazon so as you can see i am just going through her hair after i blow dried it really well i'm going through her hair and I'm just pressing it out, doing a silk press on it just to prepare for the clip-in installation. The only product I used on her hair was BioSilk. And just a heads up guys, if you see my customer with um, a frowny face or you know, serious looks on her face. I just want to let y'all know we are watching a very good movie. So she is into it. So I just wanted to put that out there. And these are the clip-ins. And these clip-ins, they come in two each. You get two with one comb, two with two combs, two with three combs, and just one with four combs. And she ordered two packs of these. Now I'm just going in and I'm taking a section and I'm rubber banding that section off because that is where we're going to be applying and securing the comb. So I'm starting off and I'm using the weft that has four combs on it. So I'm gonna need a total of four rubber bands in this section. Now guys, I'm doing a side view of this because I want you to see it from a side view. And then I'm gonna flip it in another way where you'll see a closer side view so that it could be a little bit more clear. Just keep in mind that the section that you're taking, make sure it's the width of the comb. You don't want it any shorter or too wide. You take your rubber band and you secure that section and you do not, you do not, I repeat, do not want to put the rubber band all the way close to the scalp. You want to put that rubber band, just drag it down a little so that the comb can slide in easily because if you put it too close to the scalp, it is going to hurt. So now I'm just putting her hair up because it fell a little. I just want to get her hair out the way so that we can put in the first clip-ins. So all you have to do is pop those combs open, slide it in, and clip it right there. And a rubber band will stop it right where it needs to be. And this is how your clippings will stay in place without sliding all the way around. If you have fine hair, this is a good method because if you go to comb your hair or pull on it too hard, or if you're out you know, having a good time at an event, and you're just doing, you know, a little bit too much um, with your hair, it can possibly slide out and you don't want to do that. You don't want that to happen. So this is why I do the rubber band method when it comes to doing clip-ins. So I just like to lay down each weft 
each track and I like to measure it. So I already put the first one in, now I'm about to put the second rubber band in. And this is exactly where the comb lines up. The comb, sorry, the comb lines up for me to secure my next rubber band. So I have my sections sectioned out and I'm just popping the combs open, sliding them through above the rubber band and clamping it down. And these hair extensions, they are very full. The weft is very soft. It has like a like some type of material that's over top of the weft and it's very very soft and the hair is very thick I really like these a lot and here is that closer view that I wanted to show you guys I already got my two sections it's not too close to the scalp I'm opening my combs securing them in and clipping them down so you just want to finish this whole method throughout the entirety of your hair however you want to put them in and yes guys it's very simple very easy and very secure And this is the final look guys I hope you enjoyed this video if there's anything you want to ask me let me know in the comment section below if you try these clippings out let me know as well and thank you so much for watching guys take care <laughs>